today as Hobart commissions. She joins a fleet that is growing in size, in strength, in agility, in intelligence capability and in lethality. An extraordinarily capable fleet that provides our island continent with the sure shield at sea it needs for the decades ahead. Hobart is an awesome ship. She has been described as the most capable and complex warship we've ever operated. She is very much a destroyer. However, without the 185 men and women here before you today, she can only ever be a ship alongside. To be a warship requires their individual and specialist skills and the collective teamwork to work at sea together. Please know that when you let go lines, you will do so with the admiration and respect of our nation. Come on. Come on. Master Tactical. Okay. Over the last couple of weeks, HMAS Hobart's been conducting first class trials, which is an important component of the operational testing and evaluation period. It's one step, but an important step, of getting our ship ready for operations, which is initial operating capability. First class trials are about setting the baseline for a new class of ship and finding out its true capabilities and limitations and then saying this is how we do this particular evolution for the entire class of the ship. We've done a whole gamut of different activities, everything from seamanship uh, through to getting the, uh, the radar signature measured of the ship. We've done the first launch of uh, the shipboard torpedoes from a DDG. And uh, particularly the SeaWiz firing in a surface mode. It's the first time we've ever used that weapon against the surface target in the RAM. We're always learning. And what we've been able to do is increase our uh, knowledge of the capability, which I think will stand us in well for our upcoming workups and our subsequent deployment uh, to the US for uh, combat system ship qualification trials. It's been an outstanding visit here to Hobart, our inaugural port visit following our uh, commissioning out late last year. Look, it's been a busy uh, program, but an important one to uh, support this great city. So apart from arriving uh, last Friday, on Saturday we had our important freedom of entry uh, march through the uh, city of Hobart, where we were uh, met by a lot of the locals, and followed by a civic reception. Then on Sunday we uh, supported the 180th Hobart Regatta. Uh, involved uh, Hobart proceeding to anchor in the Derwent River and supporting the events. Importantly, that also involved a couple of uh, my, my teams in the uh, Derwent swim and, of course, the uh, Skulls of Rowing competition. Together! Together! It's fantastic for Hobart and for the Royal Hobart Regatta. You know, we have a long history of uh, Navy ships coming coming to the regatta and we uh, we greatly value that. You know, it really adds to the occasion on, the, on People's Day. I think uh, the people of Hobart will, uh, will love seeing HMAS Hobart, you know, it's a, it's a great fit and uh, for the first time, you know, brilliant, just brilliant.